In 1977, Elizabeth marked the Silver Jubilee of her accession. The celebrations reaffirmed Elizabeth's popularity, despite virtually coincident negative press coverage of Princess Margaret's separation from her husband, Lord Snowden. Falklands War was a 10-week undeclared war between Argentina and the United Kingdom in 1982 over two British dependent territories in the South Atlantic, the Falkland Islands and its territorial dependency. The conflict began on 2 April, when Argentina invaded and occupied the Falkland Islands. On 5 April, the British government dispatched a naval task force to engage the Argentine Navy and Air Force before making an amphibious assault on the islands. On 6 April, the British government established the War Cabinet, it is an important crisis management instrument for the UK with its authority to review political and military developments relating to the South Atlantic. Although Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher was portrayed as dominating the War Cabinet, she did not ignore the opposition or fail to consult with others. The conflict lasted 74 days and ended with an Argentine surrender on 14 June, returning the islands to British control. The conflict was a major episode in the protracted dispute over the territory's sovereignty. Argentina asserted and maintains that the islands are Argentine territory. and the Argentine government thus characterized its military action as the reclamation of its own territory. The British government regarded the action as an invasion of a territory that had been a crown colony since 1841. Falkland Islanders, who have inhabited the islands since the early 19th century, are predominantly descendants of British settlers, and strongly favour British sovereignty. Neither state officially declared war, although both governments declared the islands a war zone. No change in either country's position regarding the sovereignty of the Falkland Islands was made explicit. In 1994, Argentina adopted a new constitution, which declared the Falkland Islands as part of one of its provinces by law. 
However, the islands continue to operate as a self-governing British overseas territory. On November 24, 1992, in her speech to mark the Ruby Jubilee of her accession to the throne, Elizabeth referred to 1992 as Annus Horribilis, a Latin phrase, meaning, terrible year. 1992 is not a year on which I shall look back with undiluted pleasure. <clears throat> in the words of one of my more sympathetic correspondents, it has turned out to be an annus horribilis. On March 19, her second son, Prince Andrew, separated from his wife, Sarah. Her daughter, Princess Anne, divorced Captain Mark Phillips on April 23. Princess Diana published a book at June 7 on the subject of marriage to Prince Charles. Then a huge fire broke out at Windsor Castle November 20, 1992. Hong Kong was a colony and dependent territory of the British Empire from 1841 to 1997, apart from a period of occupation under the Japanese Empire from 1941 to 1945 during the Pacific War. The colonial period began with the occupation of Hong Kong Island in 1841 during the First Opium War, between the British and the Qing Dynasty, when the Qing decided to enforce its prohibition of opium importation within the dynasty. The island was ceded to the United Kingdom by the Treaty of Nanjing, ratified by the Daoguang Emperor in the aftermath of the War of 1842. It was established as a crown colony in 1843. The colony expanded to include the Kowloon Peninsula in 1860 after the Second Opium War between the two nations. Britain did not see any viable way to administer the colony by dividing it, whilst the People's Republic of China PRC, would not consider extending the lease or allow continued British administration thereafter. With the signing of the Sino-British Joint Declaration in 1984, which states that the economic and social systems in Hong Kong would remain relatively unchanged for 50 years. The British government agreed to transfer the entire territory to China upon the expiration of the new territory's lease in 1997, with Hong Kong becoming a special administrative region SAR, until 2047. The British government agreed to transfer the Hong Kong became China's first special administrative region, it was followed by Macau after its transfer from Portugal in 1999 under similar arrangements. The Hong Kong handover ceremony at midnight on 1 July 1997 was attended by Prince Charles and Prime Minister Tony Blair. It ended 156 years of British rule in the former colony. With a population in 1997 of about 6.5 million. In 2002, Elizabeth marked her Golden Jubilee, the 50th anniversary of her accession. Her sister died on 9 February 2002 and her mother 30 March 2002. Elizabeth surpassed her great-grandmother, Queen Victoria, to become the longest-serving British monarch on 21 December 2007. Elizabeth's 2012 Diamond Jubilee marked 60 years to the throne, and celebrations were held throughout the wider Commonwealth. Mr. Bond, Your Majesty. For the London Olympics 2012, she starred alone in a short film as part of the opening ceremony, alongside Daniel Craig as James Bond. Good evening, Mr. Bond. Good evening.
Ambassadors by Eric Coates. Examples of envious humour during the course of this show. Brexit, British exit, was the withdrawal of the United Kingdom, UK, from the European Union, EU. The UK had been a member state of the EU and its predecessor, the European Communities, EC, since the 1st of January 1973. Following Brexit, EU law and the Court of Justice of the European Union no longer have primacy over British laws, except in select areas in relation to Northern Ireland. The EU and its institutions have developed gradually since their establishment and during the 47 years of British membership, and grew to be of significant economic and political importance to the UK. Throughout the period of British membership, Eurosceptic groups had existed, opposing aspects of the EU and its predecessors. Prime Minister Harold Wilson's held a referendum on continued EC membership in 1975, in which 67.2% of those voting chose to stay within the bloc, but no further referendums were held during the subsequent process of European integration. Prime Minister David Cameron promised to hold a referendum if his government was re-elected. His, pro-EU, government subsequently held a referendum on continued EU membership in 2016. We are approaching one of the biggest decisions this country will face in our lifetimes, whether to remain in a reformed European Union or to leave. In which voters chose to leave the EU with 51.9% of the vote share. This led to his resignation, his replacement by Theresa May. And four years of negotiations with the EU on the terms of departure and on future relations, completed under a Boris Johnson government. The effects of Brexit will in part be determined by the cooperation agreement, which provisionally applied from 1 January 2021, and formally came into force on 1 May 2021. The broad consensus among economists is that it is likely to harm the UK's economy and reduce its real per capita income in the long term and that the referendum itself damaged the economy. It is likely to produce a large decline in immigration from countries in the European Economic Area, EEA, to the UK, and poses challenges for British higher education and academic research. Prince Philip retired from his royal duties on 2 August 2017, aged 96. Prince Philip died on April 9, 2021, after 73 years of marriage, making Elizabeth the first British monarch to reign as a widow or widower since Queen Victoria. She was reportedly at her husband's bedside when he died. Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee began on February 6, 2022, marking 70 years since she ascended the throne. Later that month, Elizabeth had mild cold-like symptoms and tested positive for COVID-19, along with several staff and family members. On February 28, she was reported to have recovered. During the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, Elizabeth was mostly confined to a balcony appearance and skipped the Thanksgiving national service. For the Jubilee concert, she took part in a sketch with Paddington Bear, which opened the show outside Buckingham Palace. Therapy, sorry.
On June 13, 2022, she became the second longest serving monarch in history among those whose exact dates of reign are known, with 70 years, 127 days reigning, surpassing King Pumipon Aduliadev of Thailand. Elizabeth never planned to abdicate, although she took on less public involvement as she grew older and Prince Charles took on more of her duties. On September 6, 2022, Elizabeth appointed Britain's 15th Prime Minister during Queen Elizabeth's reign, Liz Truss, at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. On September 8, 2022, Buckingham Palace announced that Elizabeth was under medical supervision at Balmoral Castle after doctors expressed concern. Her death was confirmed that evening at 18.30. Her state funeral was held at Westminster Abbey on 19 September 2022, and she was interred at the King George VI Memorial Chapel, Windsor Castle. Hello everyone, thanks for watching, please feel free to share to others if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe so you will get notification about the new video.